Hi, I'm Matt with the trailer. Today we're going to be looking at and how to install the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero roof rack system on the 2023 Jeep Gladiator. The Rhino Rack is going to be a great option for you. If you're running out of room in the back of your bed, since this is a smaller bed, you won't be able to fit your larger items like kayaks. So that's where this uh, rack is really going to come in handy too. Our roof rack system is going to fit by clamping on to this gutter here. And then if we take a closer look up here, we're going to have our 65 inch aero crossbars that can withstand 165 pounds. It's important to note to always check what your towers are capable of withstanding and your roof. Taking a closer look at our crossbars, we're going to have this uh, rounded arrow shape up top, tapered on both sides, that with our vortex strip up top and usually a uh, rubber measuring strip on the bottom all work together to reduce wind noise when you're driving. Our uh, crossbars do have the ability to accept clamped on accessories. Now if you don't want to use anything that's clamped on, you can remove this vortex strip here. And that'll allow you to put items on via the channel. Now to do that, you will have to cut your vortex cord up or remove it. As, as we did here, we just kind of cut it up into chunks. So after when we're done with it, we can place it back on. This is going to add just about three and a half inches. That's important to note for when you load anything on top of here, like a roof box. What I recommend doing is getting the height of your roof box and then getting the height the, from the total distance from the roof to the top of the crossbar, adding that up to make sure you can get through any low clearance zones. Another thing to note is how close it sits to your vehicle. So from the top of your roof, to the bottom of the crossbar is going to sit right under two and a half inches. That's important to note for when you have any clamp on accessories. It should work with most, but if you have any really, really thick clamps, it might get in the way. At the end of our crossbars on either side, we're going to have this lock core and you have this included key to access it. So that's just going to provide additional security. All you have to do is plug it in twist and it'll come out and that's just going to add security for any t-channel accessories now you can upgrade this uh, to a metal lock core that's something to keep in mind and at the bottom here we're going to have two bolts and these are also going to be security bolts because you're going to need the included tool to loosen them up as for how the tower is going to sit on here it's going to clamp on this gutter here, kind of on the inside and the outside. Either side's gonna be padded with a rubber coating so it doesn't scratch up your vehicle or take off any paint. Because these just clamp onto the gutter, you can actually adjust wherever on the gutter they sit. So that's the nice thing about this gutter going from the very back to the front of your cab. So you can mix and match to accommodate different accessories. One other thing to note is they are constructed from aluminum with a black powder coat finish. So that's going to do two things. It's going to make them more weather resistant so they can hold up to rain and snow and not rust. Another thing it's going to do, it just kind of makes them look a little bit more nice and sleek so they kind of match your vehicle a little bit better. Uh, but that'll kind of do it for the features. Now we're going to go into the install process. It's a pretty straightforward process, but if you need any help with that, just stay tuned and we'll show you how to do it. The first thing you want to do is lay out all your supplies. So we're going to have our 65 inch arrow crossbars and to use that, we're actually going to have to swap out this heavy duty block here. And once you swap it out, it's going to look like this. And to get to this point, you're going to have to use this adapter kit right here. And we're also going to have these two rubber pieces here. That's just going to go on your towers so you don't damage your vehicle. We're going to have this Allen key that comes included with the kit and we do recommend that you have a tape measure and a 10 millimeter wrench. To take off your old block, you're just going to grab hold of the bolt down here and just spin this block off just a couple turns and it'll come right off. Once you have it off, you can just kind of lay it to the side. I like to keep mine together like this so I don't lose any parts. 
Then I like to take my bolt and my washer. With my other wa uh, square washer, I'll pl place it on top like this. And I'll just push it through. And with our included padded piece here, we're just going to push it through that hole. And then finally put our T-block on. You want to screw it on just a little bit, but not all the way. We can move over to our error bar. I'm just going to take our included tool and remove this end cap here. And I'm going to flip it over so the bottom's facing up. And over where this channel is, usually there should be a rubber measuring strip here. We don't have ours on because this is down in the shop and we don't have it anymore but in your case you should still have it and you can kind of measure out where you want to place your towers and just trim that piece off but now I'm going to line up our block with that channel and slide it in and just like that you can tighten it down with your hand the rest of the way I'd recommend Tight enough where it stays in place, but not too tight where you can't adjust it any. Once you've got it tightened down, you can take your end cap and put it back on. And lock it into place too. And once you've locked it into place, you can repeat the same process on the other side. Before we put it up there, we're going to have to loosen these two bolts on the end. And to do that, we're going to use our included tool. So I'm just going to loosen it up just enough so it, to open, so it can open up. And once you've loosened it enough, you can open this up. And that will allow you to put on this rubber padding on this piece here. Just lining it up and setting it on there. And once that's complete, you can do the same thing on the other side. You can put our crossbar on top of our vehicle. You can do this with a friend, but if you don't have anyone around, you can still do this by yourself. So I'm gonna just get it right up here, making sure I got a good hand on our vehicle. And I'm just gonna line it up with our gutters and place it down. Now to adjust for our spread, I'm gonna measure what we have now from the center to center and we're at slightly above 35. I'm shooting for more of a 30 inch spread. So what we're gonna do is just from the center here to here, kind of measure out what 30 inches is gonna be, just roughly, and adjust from there. So I'm just gonna put my tape measure down and slide this to fit just roughly where I need it to. If you need, you can lift up on the back side and move it a bit. So I went to the other side, adjusted from there, measured to make sure they're the same distance apart, to make sure everything is parallel. And after when you get that done, you can come over to your clamps now, and you're going to have to make sure that this rubber padding is behind your gutter, and this metal piece is wrapping underneath and all the way around. Now if it doesn't do that, you might have to uh, loosen up these bolts just a bit, or just kind of wiggle it a bit and, it'll, and it should pull forward. And with it there, we can tighten it down just a little bit, not too mu much because we don't want it to pull too much on one side, just a bit. And once I've uh, tightened the other side, I'm just gonna come back over here and tighten this the rest of the way. Now it should be good and secured. And now I wanna make sure we have the same overhang on both sides. So making sure this length matches with the other side. So we have four inches on this side. I'm gonna check the other side now to make sure we have the same overhang there. Once the overhang is the same on either side, we can then come to this bolt on the bottom and tighten that down the rest of the way with our 10 millimeter wrench. After you tighten both sides down and it feels secure, that will complete the installation and a look at some of the features of the Rhinorack Vortex Aero Roof Rack System on the 2023 Jeep Gladiator.